Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at Kinetics. Kinetics is an online AI video to motion capture creation tool that is available for everyone. The version 1.4 of the beta has just been announced and this comes with a couple of cool improvements. The very first one, which is pretty impressive, is the half body recognition, which brings more capability and possibility to artists. It also makes sense to know that there is a hand movement recognition right now that is fully AI supported. The Mixamo integration that now offers over 40 characters and animation from Adobe's high end library. There is even way more stuff that includes XR export, grounding, abolishing of the kind coins, which now makes kinetics a free tool for everyone to work with and at the same time we do have a couple of editing and animation fidelity being baked into this now for those who have actually stayed on the channel for a while you notice that we've covered a couple of tools that has to do with video to motion capture creation but kinetics actually takes it up a little bit with the brand new feature so contrary to other tools that we've talked about that requires a full body to be in frame facing the camera in order to get a proper motion capture out of the footage, Kinetics has dialed this a notch by using the half body recognition and generating motion captures from it. So for those who like to try this, you can simply come through and check it out. And it's worth knowing that Kinetics at this point is now available for both Maya, Blender, Unreal Engine, and so much more. So how you get started with this is pretty simple. Simply go over to kinetics.tech, link to this is gonna be in the description, and then you can click on the word login. Now, if you click on login, you can sign up. And of course, if you've signed up already, you can simply click on login and it's just gonna bring you down to the login page. Now, once you come over to the login page, you'll notice we have a couple of samples which you can test out. The first one, which is very impressive, is two characters. So we don't get to see things like this every single time, where an AI can recognize two objects and drive the motion capture out of the videos at the same time. And that is something that Kinetics is doing as once we click on the jumping jacks, you can see that these two characters are recognized and the motions have been extracted into the avatars. The same thing happens with the tennis, the running on sand and also the roller. But just like every other initial motion capture, it is worth knowing that you have some foot sliding and at the same time, the AI doesn't really know where the ground is at a given point. And that is just one of those things that you have to deal with when working with a tool like this. But regardless of that, there's even way more things that you can do. So we've already tried out working with tools like Plask and also some other tools previously. And these tools do not recognize half body motion. So for this example, what we're going to do is go over to Pixels where we've downloaded this particular clip. And then the next thing to do is cut this clip in half and import it right into Kinetics. Now, once we bring it into Kinetics, it follows the very same procedure of offering you chances to trim the video if you want, set in the title of the motion capture that you like to extract, and then click on confirm to start processing this. So with our motion completely generated right now, if we click on walking, which is the motion that we've just done, you can see that it loads right in here. Now, this is the default avatar for Kinetics. So with this here, if we press the playback button, you can see that it works. And of course you can also notice the foot jittering. Now there is no solution for this at this point, but it makes sense to know that you have the hand movement. So the hand movement is something that you no longer need to bother about when you're working with it. But now this brings up a tiny question. How much time would you spend in the editing room cleaning up this motion capture? It is pretty impressive. It is nice. It is getting towards a very good direction. And it's worth knowing that this tool is currently in beta. So just in case you're wondering if it's a final product, no, it is not yet. Like we mentioned earlier, there is an integration of mixer mode animations and also characters. So if you like to play with those, you can also do that. So before we talk about playing with those, for those who would like to just simply convert their videos to motion capture and download it, you can do that by going through the process that we've mentioned before and then click on the export button. Clicking on the export button would offer you chances to download this as either FBX or GLB. And at the same time, if you like to get the XR experience URL, you can do that right here. With that out of the way, if you like to layer more motions, or maybe you like to edit the motion, you can go over to the editing tab, which is a brand new tab that is now available. Now, once we go over to the brand new tab, you'd now notice that we have the avatar and we have the animation. So if we click right here, we can push this animation wherever we want in time, press the playback button, and you can see our character start moving. Now the editing tab doesn't really offer you anything that deals with editing the motion. This is just one thing to keep in mind. You don't have any tweaking tools right here. Rather, 
what this offers you is chances for you to layer up multiple motions that you can get from Mixamo. So I will sort of consider this editing section as a part where you can layer motions depending on what you like to export and how you like to use these motions in your 3D app of choice. So what I mean by that is this simple. If you click on the sum character, which is this avatar, we can add a layer. And once we add the layer, we can go over to the animation section and you can see all the animations that have been pulled out from Mixamo right in here. And of course, you would also notice that we have some more motions that are not coming from Mixamo and you can drag and drop these things directly within the layer. So if, for example, we would like to get this one, which is the aerial evade, we can click and drag and drop it right here. And once we do that, you can see that our character automatically switches to that motion since it's on top of the layer. And if we press the playback button, you can notice that the animation plays back. If you like to layer even way more stuff, you can. So I can also click and add another layer and we can layer even way more stuff. So in terms of editing, you're sort of layering stuff. So this is more like having two things in one. You do have the motion extraction and you have the motion layering sort of editing style stuff going here. If you like to take out the motion that we've made, you can simply click on this tiny three dot button and delete that motion. And then you're left with this one. And of course, if you like to add more characters, you can. So how you can add more characters is as simple as going over to the character section. And what you can do is to click and load the character right in there. You can add as many characters as you want. And it makes sense to know that these characters sometimes do work in a very interesting way. So for the most part, if you're working with characters, I would suggest you stick with just two to three characters as once you add way more characters, sometimes the character just simply disappears. Now, this doesn't mean that the character disappears from the scene. It just simply means that you no longer get to see it, especially when you do add animation to it. So two to three characters seems to have been the best so far. And if you're working with characters like this, you can either choose from the ones from Mixamo or you can create yours. And how you create yours is very simple. You go over to the character section and where you have the custom characters, you can start creating a brand new one. Now we've talked about Ready Player Me previously on the channel, and it makes sense to see that the Ready Player Me is also plugged into the kinetics. So with this, you can specify the kind of characters that you want. If you like to use your photo, you can use your photo to create yours. But of course, if you like to create the character by yourself, by simply using the pre-designed template that exists, you can proceed to do all of these things yourself. So once you're done with that, you can assign motions to this and you can download it. How you get to know what character you're working with at a given time is by clicking on the character and seeing it grayed out. Now, any grayed out character simply means that that's a character that's active and you can assign motions to this and also control how these placements are. One other cool thing that I love about the kinetics is regardless of the fact that you can do your editing, which is basically you layering motions together, it also makes sense to know that the character section is not the only place where you get assets. You can also get some assets within the scene section. Now within the scene section, you can find a couple of assets that you can throw into your scene. And in this case, we're just simply using a chair. Once you drag this chair in, you can position this wherever you want. You can scale it if you want to, you can rotate it if you want to, and you can position your character exactly where you want it to be. So this actually brings that sense of pre-visualization to a point, owing to the fact that most people would like a tool that is just simply available for them to just knock out certain ideas. This tool simply looks like the tool for that. So I kind of see it as not just a tool that offers you a video to motion capture stuff, but a tool for pre-visualization that offers a video to motion capture thing. I don't know if that makes sense. You do have a tool like this that you can use for your layout, but at the same time, if you like to use some custom motions, you might need to record those motions and import them right in here. Now, something else that makes sense for me that I love about this tool is the fact that the origin matching for individual motions are sort of tied to the last motion. So this is something that is very, very visible for those working with motion builder. So if you're working with motion builder in certain sense, you might want to make sure that you point the motions exactly or actually make them twin at a given point. But this other one actually does that automatically. It doesn't get the foot matching completely right, but the fact that it recognizes the origin rather than skipping it like motion builder would do by default is just one thing that makes a lot of sense. And once you're done with this, you can simply go ahead, download, and export this and of course start using it in the DCC app of choice. So what do I think about this tool? It's a cool, wonderful tool for those who are thinking about layering motions. If you're definitely thinking about layering motions for games, 
layering motions for your animation. Probably you want to use some predefined templates, some predesigned motions, and also some characters. Or maybe you want to take advantage of the Ready Player Me character that already exists directly with this. Then you might want to consider checking this out. For the motion capture part, it is cool. It does something right. But actually getting this thing to work properly is also something I believe lots of other tools that I've covered on the channel actually does a little bit better. Regardless of that, I'm excited about the whole idea that it now has two character recognition. This is definitely something that we don't get to see all the time, but it's very interesting to see that we have that. And finally, I also love and appreciate the fact that this tool is currently free. So this is more like it for those who are thinking about a place where they can layer their motions free on the internet, where they could download free assets, where they could get free motions, or maybe get some impressive characters that they can use for the animation. Alongside with this, convert the video footages that they've made into motion captures and probably spend a couple of minutes editing this on an offline app. Then Kinetics is the app for you. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.